Okay, so here is your typical Kenmore dryer. Kenmore Whirlpool. Now we're gonna rebuild this timer on this one, Kenmore. So this is, here's your model number, 110794222. Like eight zero one. So first thing I do is I take off the back panel, and there's a disclaimer for you. Clean the lint out. Here's where you will normally find your schematic diagram for technicians, and then here is going to be your timer. So you take a small wrench, nut driver. Leave that's a quarter inch size there. Pull these off. Pull your front timer knob off. It should just pull straight off. And then we can delve into this timer. So you can see there are these two screws here on this timer motor that we take apart and we'll take apart the whole timer assembly. And I'll do that here in a minute. Okay, once you get those screws taken out and your, your uh, advanced motor will come loose and then you can take your face plate off and you can leave the cog intact inside there. Um, sometimes I pull it out just to lube the back end of it. If we look inside here, we can see the points are actually not too bad, but I'm going to clean them up anyway. This has got a sort of a mystery problem right now. I can't really figure it out. I was thinking it was going to be so in a timer. I'll cut a small strip of, this is 220, and we have 400 for the fine, finer aspects of point sanding or smoothing. And so I'll just take that fine sandpaper and run it in between the points, and sometimes lube the shaft, and then uh, any of the other moving parts. Be careful not to get any lube on any of the points and then put it back together and hope for the best. Okay, so the problem is in these, this timer and so basically, don't try this at home. Make sure your machine is unplugged before you ever do any work on it. These points right here are the points that activate the, the, uh, the gas valve and the igniter. So these have to be nice and clean and there actually, there's a lot of force. There's a lot of force, a lot of energy I have to put in to touch those points. And so basically, there here is one of the arms that go in here to uh, work these points. And if you look at this arm, you may be able to see that this arm is worn down. That arm actually has, there's an indentation on that arm. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's an indentation on that little arm that sticks out. There's a groove right there. And that groove is not, that groove is carved from this cog. So that groove has uh, weakened the close tolerances of this arm that pushes that timer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little JB weld, clean this up, and put like a half a drop of JB Weld right there and then try and make that work. Some, some systems I cannot rebuild, the points are actually burnt off the, the forks. Uh, if the faces of the points are totally burnt off the forks, I can't do anything with them and you might as well just buy a new timer. But if you're interested in getting your timer rebuilt, I do that for a fee and you can contact me Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com 707-443-8347 Pacific time 9 to 7.